Hi, right, this is part two of my video to design the horn speaker for Crystal Radio. So this is the picture that inspires me to create a design for the horn speaker for Crystal Radio. So thanks a lot to uh, whoever posted here. Okay, after a day's work, I've finished creating the model of this horn speaker for Crystal Radio. So the base is uh, used to hold a mouthpiece or a headphone sound unit. So you can put it inside. There's a lid here. Open it and put in the sound unit. And then the output of the sound unit will be channeled through this phonograph-like uh, horn speaker and the sound will be amplified physically instead of electronically uh, so if it works I will create another base for the smartphones acoustic uh, speaker amplifier so you can put in a smartphone here and the sound will be channeled through this on speaker and kind of enlarged. I got up a number of sound units that I can use. One of them is from another horn speaker, so it can fit in here. So I will share the actual manufacturer fabricator once once I finish printing. I'm still printing this part. It already took me 11 hours. The middle part, six hours and the neck I think in another 11 hours so it's still a lot of printing to do that's all I have thank you hello everyone this is Billy I saw on the web that someone created a horn speaker for an Alexis voice controller device so I think I can create the same but for a crystal radio. For a crystal radio, we need the one to be more vertical instead of horizontal. So I created this initial design. I'm just trying to figure out how to uh, cut a hole inside to, to make it a shell instead of a solid. So it seems there's some issue with the command. I may need to take it apart and do it bit by bit. So the other thing I want to do is to be able to hook up a speaker box at the neck of this trumpet so we can uh, amplify the sound physically instead of electronically and so it can be used for a crystal radio you just need to put a mouthpiece or the earpiece that you use as a speaker to the sound box and then attach the sound box to the neck of this trumpet. Uh, then you can use the horn to amplify. So the neck of this trumpet is around 20 millimeter diameter. The mouth is 180 millimeter. It will take a lot of time to print. I think more than 20 hours in total. To create it is not as difficult as I initially envisaged. So first you need to draw two circles, one big, one small, for the mouth of the trumpet, create a cylinder on top of the base circle, and then use the this fillet command at the top to just create a fillet and make the fillet bigger so it looks like the base of a trumpet. And then the next thing you do is to draw a spine and then draw a number of circles that are decreasing in diameter along the spine especially at the sharp turns and those circles need to be perpendicular to the line of the spine so once you got this you can use the command uh, called loft in Fusion 360 to uh, gradually change the shape of the solid that will map to each circle and create a very 
a smooth looking spine uh, a trumpet. So like this one. So I'll continue to work on that. Give me some ideas or areas that I can make it better for use in a crystal radio. After I got uh, it tested, I'll release it. Thanks a lot. See you next time.